<laughs> All right, go get it, guys. Go get it. Go get it. Pine. Pine. <gasps> Pine, you did it. Good boy. That's your very first fetch. That's your first fetch. Who's a good boy? All right, you guys ready? You guys ready? Tate, you're cheating if you wait over there for it. Tate, come. Okay. I bet they're still going to beat you. Aw, Tate, that's cheating. Pine should win. Oh, well, that's okay. Good job, Tate. Good job. Oh, you silly boy. But hello, everyone, and welcome back to Zoo Crafting and Zoodacia. Oh, look at Sunflower's beautiful perch. She is very happy and content. Oh, look, you can see Dolly jumping up there. Do you see her? Here, hang on. I'll zoom in. There you go. You can see Dolly the second jumping up around, eating some apples, enjoying her barley, the beautiful little apartment that she and Bob the second have. Sunflower is back up there with Trinity enjoying the day. And we are down here playing with Lily, Tate, and Pine. So go get it, guys. <laughs> threw it right towards you guys so we're playing with them because it has been a long adventure i just got back with sunflower to our wonderful little home good job pup pups good job i'm gonna put it away now okay but i just got back to our wonderful home we have indeed managed to catch ourselves some interesting new creatures lots and lots of pandas we actually got two new pandas i'm gonna put this away i'm gonna put these syringes away this is like my basic basic collection of stuff little little backpack so let's see we'll put mole fingers away put the chisel away oh my gosh so much stuff in fact we'll put these apples away all right Lily Tate fine come today my friends is a special exciting day because we delivered our wonderful archaeologist NPC well not the NPC it's the archaeologist villagers that we collected from the breeding at the harvest festival in the village of light we delivered those guys to relic ruins which is our relic research center so eventually we'll go back over there with a ton of emeralds and we will trade those emeralds to them in exchange for some really awesome stuff so we'll have to see what other awesome things the archaeologist from the fossils and archaeology mod trade but we also dug up a ton of awesome fossils. So today is fossil cracking day. We're going to see what's inside those fossils. So I'm pretty excited. Now, Lily, Tate, Pine. Tate, if you want to sit in the plant, that's your that's your prerogative. But I don't think you're going to be close enough to the food bowl. Come on. Come here, Pine. Pine, come here. All right, let's see if I go this way. Ah, there he is. Good boy. Sit down. Sit down with your aunt and dad. There you go. All right, Tate, are you hungry? Let me give you some fish. Give Tate a little raw fish. There you go. Good. So you guys stay out here. I'm just going to go downstairs and do some mad science with cloning research and fossils. Don't you worry. It's totally safe. Maybe not totally, but pretty safe. So we are going to go downstairs and we are going to pop these fossils and the many, many piles of other fossils I have, Major Calhoun, Captain Kaz, into... Uh, the ground basically actually we're not popping in the fossils themselves into anything all right let's <gasps> our gold orberry bush is ready to harvest Yee! we have gold orberries that's so cool I'm so excited oh we definitely need to work on our orberry room actually because the sooner we open up the orberry room the sooner we can just start mass growing orberries and maybe making a little bit of decent uh, growth off of them so we'll work on that later too. All right, close this. And then we're gonna pop down here and we are gonna crack ourselves open some awesome fossils today. So I'm pretty excited. All right, put these away and put these away. All of the ore berries that we just collected go away. Let's see, aluminum ore berry, aluminum ore berry, gold ore berry. That's so freaking cool. Uh, copper ore is down here. Iron ore is also down here. Aluminum ore should be down here interesting and we might as well <laughs> use our really awesome pickaxe uh not this one but the really awesome pickaxes we have to crack open that salt ore so we can get as much salt as we possibly could want for cooking oh in fact we were going to make some pickles today too weren't we i'm looking forward to that all right hang on i'm trying to figure out so let's see stone stone you go in here and ooh, actually we have fancy stone too which is marble might have to use what can we turn marble into Ooh, some pretty things plain marble with capstones all right so we could figure out somewhere to use those um they're still christmasy <laughs> why why are you still christmasy chest maybe a calf messed with something i'll have to ask him 
All right, and then let's put these cave formations away. And the rare mushrooms actually need to go in here. Oh, gold or berry bushes. That's so exciting. Okay, no new ones. Uh, mushroom corner. Here we go. Pop all these mushrooms in here. We've got some more string that we grabbed from a spider. We are actually low on string. I never thought I would see the day where we're almost out of string. Like, we really are! Oh my gosh! We might have to find... Does anyone remember where a spider spawner is, Nightlock? Because I might actually have to set up a little spawn thing. I can't believe that. Maybe we'll try out some of the other fancy things, Professor Cowplant. Let's see. And Professor Calpan's doing good. I wish Pigman Fern was still here, but he turned into an Experiment 626. He turned into a chicken. So that was interesting. But there we go. So we have two stacks and eight extra fossils and some permafrost. So let's get down our really awesome pickaxe that has Fortune 3 and Paleontology 3 on it. And it's an auto repair, too. So let's open up the... Let's open up the permafrost first because that's like a really no let's open up the salt first just to be like anticlimactic <laughs> this is for cooking so this is going to be making tons and tons of pickles later because i've actually been running pretty low on salt in the kitchen what there's like only one a piece no 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 you should have fortune on you that is so anticlimactic i was expecting like a rain of salt just pouring out was that more than we put down? Well, if we put down three. And we got... No. No. It's just... ah, Dang it. Okay, do we have another thing that has, like, fortune on it or something? What are these other two? Let's check. Let's see. Efficiency in archaeology and efficiency in paleontology. So for some reason, fortune is just mm. being funky donkey. So that's fine. All right, you two go away. And we will anticlimatically continue to harvest our our salt. Maybe it just doesn't work like that. Who knows? But we need the salt ore so we can make pickles later. Because that sounds delicious. I'm pretty sure I've been growing cucumber. Pretty sure. We'll have to see. Bat pick, not bat pick. That's not going to help us. Moo. Mm. Mm. Professor Cowplant, we're about to need your milk uh, pretty soon. Because we are going to be working through quite a few biofossils. We'll have to see what we grow. And then we'll have to figure out... I'm kind of in the mood to do another dinosaur pretty soon, so we'll have to figure that out too. Alright. But I really want to get the pandas started at least. So every time we catch pandas, we can bring them into the panda sanctuary. There we go! Anticlimatic pile of salt is now done. Moving on to permafrost. So we've got to do this one quickly because they can turn into dirt at room temperature. So boom, boom. Yay! Boom, 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 boom. Okay, going quick, going quick. Aw, oh, dang it, that was a fern seed. And I, I was told I missed a lot of permafrost in that chasm we went in. Woo! So there we go, we've got a bunch of frozen meat. Let's stick this. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, Trionosaurus DNA, nice! Let's stick the frozen meat into the analyzer. Go for it. And then sifted scraps. Oh, we've got tons of bone meal down here. I need to remember that. Why do I always forget that? Uh, let's take the sand and put the sand into the sifter. Just to get that going. Do we have... Yeah, we've got more to put in there. And then, let's see, more sand to put in here. Get this going. And ancient plant specimens can take these guys. And DNA chamber can take our second Tyrannosaurus DNA. We've actually got quite a bit, too, so this should be fun. Alright, how's this going? Raw chicken, quagga, and mammoth. Nice. Now let us set up our awesome, absolutely amazing pile of fossils and just go through it. So let's see how much we end up with. In fact, I'm actually pretty excited to see how many scarab gems we can end up with. Oh my gosh, that was a helmet. Yes, I see biofossils pouring down from the skies. Sweet. That was just eight biofossils too, and we ended up with 13 of them. Nice. All right, we'll continue to pile these up. It's fossil cracking day, you guys! Yay! Look at all these biofossils! We have so many now. Oh my gosh. We're getting relic scraps, too. Here, scarab gem, scarab gem. 
We usually get at least a couple scarab gems when we do this now, so <laughs> we'll have to see what happens. Oh, we've got a skull! It's been a long time since we've gotten a skull. That's like not a high-end item, but still kind of exciting. All right, let's double check on these guys. Raw chicken, raw chicken, raw pork, mammoth. Come on, terror bird. Come on, terror bird. That's what we've really got our fingers crossed for over on that permafrost. Go, fossil finder, go! Go forth and find me scarab gems and fossils! Because we ended up with so many scarab gems last time. I was so amazed. Go, go, go! It's fossil cracking day. Who knows what we might find. Ooh, more ancient swords. We might try to find Pigmen Fern. We might spend like a side quest looking for where Pigmen Fern could have run off to. <laughs> By uh, let's like going out and smacking a bunch of pigs with the ancient sword. All right, let's try this. Let's see what happens. Got a giant pile of biofossils to sort through while we make pickles. <laughs> Maybe we should make more analyzers. That's probably what we need to do now is make more analyzers. Because this is growing from a little basement mad science project into a proper mad science laboratory. Ooh, we are ending up with so many ancient helmets. Sweet. I really would love to see more scarabs, though. All right, let's continue to do this. We've got this. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. There we go. That's better. All right, pile these guys up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, watch out, watch out. All experimental, um, experimental experimenters, please keep watch. Don't want to accidentally smack you. I wonder if you hit a chicken with Fortune 3, if you get like a bunch of eggs. So many biofossils, but I really want scarab gems. Come here, scarab gems. We must have been really lucky last time. I didn't realize they were still going to be so hard, even with Paleontology 3 and Fortune 3. Man. At least we've got a ton of bones, too. Alright, almost there. Alright, we've got a bunch of ancient helmets, too, so that's pretty fun. How are we doing? Scarab Jim? Scarab Jim? You never know till the very last fossil is cracked. Almost there. No scarab gem this time, I don't think. All right, let's check. Nope, but we did get two ancient broken helmets, one ancient broken sword, two skulls, and two and a half stacks of biofossils and half a stack of relic scraps and almost a stack of bones. <laughs> so a lot more than we would have had normally. Thank you very much, Fossil Finder 3000. All right, go up. There you go. Put that away. Put this away. Check on this. And no quagga DNA drop bucket. But we will get started on processing the biofossils, the relic scraps, and so on. So we still don't have the terror birds, <laughs> which is what we've been wanting for so long. But I'm getting tempted to try some other things. So we might work on some more mammoths, some more smilodons, or maybe some of the... Uh, I'm actually thinking... I think our next dinosaur is going to be one of the aquatic ones. So let me know which aquatic dinosaur, well, dinosaur is the wrong phrase, aquatic reptile you guys would like me to work on because we'll, we'll be looking into aquatic reptiles next. 99% sure. All right. I've actually got a lot of these. <laughs> so there's those. Let's just make sure you can run. Oh, we got a little petrosaur. That's so cute. Uh, yeah, we actually, we need more analyzers, so let's make another analyzer. Let's see what it would take. Analyzer. All right, what do you need? Relic scrap, biofossil, and iron. That's it? Oh, we've got that in abundance now. So let's make um, two more analyzers. All right, and then let's run upstairs, grab some iron. We've got this, no problem. All right, iron, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think is what it needed, I think, right? Whoops, uh, we'll go ahead and take these out. And then, yeah, that's all it needed. Nice, so we're going to have more of these guys hanging out downstairs to help us process everything that we dig up faster. Meow, meow, Nightlock, you're so cool. 
All right, so let's put down one analyzer here, one analyzer here, and then load up the biofossils. Empty this guy out, and we will toss these biofossils in. There we go. And how are you guys doing, little sifter? Let me empty you out. There. Sifted scraps. That. And archaeological processing. That would be the shards. And then these right there. There we go. Oh, and we've got a little DNA. Look at that cute little guy. Oh, I really am thinking we'll do an aquatic dinosaur as we, like, in between working on the panda and the beehives. Which... I guess you don't hear that phrase every day. We'll do aquatic dinosaurs in between the pandas and the beehives. But those are those are the things we're working on right now in the zoo. So that's why I say that. All right, we'll poke this guy away. And we'll chunk that guy away. And then let's go upstairs. And while those process, let's make some pickles. <laughs> I'm actually really eager to try out making pickles. So let's see what happens. All right. I wonder if it's going to be permanently Christmas chest. Who knows? All right, what does it take to make pickles? Let's see, pickles, hearty meal, recipe. Oh, we need vinegar? How do we make vinegar? Grape juice. So we need to make grape juice and then put it in a pot to make vinegar. Do I, um, do I have, I don't have grapes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't have any grapes at all? Oh, thank goodness. I was like, that has to be wrong. We've got tons of grapes, good. So let's make a ton of vinegar. This is exciting. This is trying out new food. I like trying out new food. Oh yeah, I left all this from puppy. Um, we need to get wheat growing too. Good gracious. Good gracious. So much to do. So much to do in the zoo, Artemis. Um, we'll put the puppy treat ingredients over here for now. And we'll come back to that. And for now, let's see. I feel like I have to like wash off the counter because I had bone meal on there. I don't want bone meal in my grape juice. All right, now let's make some grape juice. And then we need to grab the pot. All right, wash that off, there you go. And now we're gonna grab the pot and make some vinegar. There we go. And now we need the pickles. So we need the pot, cucumber, salt, and vinegar. So vinegar, the pot, um, the salt, and let's see how many cucumbers I happen to have. I have only 35 cucumbers? 35 cucumbers! So we will have 35 pickles. <laughs> All right, so let's toss those in there and boom! Oh, we've got something nice and tart to drink or eat while we are on our journeys now. So let's try it out. Om nom 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 nom. Om nom nom. I actually... I'm not a big fan. I love salty things, so this is fun, Artemis, but goodness gracious. All right, so <laughs> there we go. We'll put the rest of this salt away, and now we have enough pickles to last us forever and a day. Uh, in fact, let's put the vinegar up there, too, because doesn't that seem appropriate to put, like, with the spice jars or with the spices? All right, let's see. Let's top that salt off, and let's actually put the excess salt down here, and let's put some sugar. Well, hmm... We'll figure out what else to put up there. I think maybe like the powder or like the vanilla bean. Where'd the vanilla beans I had go? What can we do with these guys? Roast them, right? So, oh, I roasted some vanilla beans earlier. Now what do I do with them? Uh, I think they just stay as roasted vanilla beans. And then I put them up here now. There we go. We're getting a nice little spice selection going. I'm pretty happy about that. All right, and then actually I'm gonna put half the pickles away and thank you very much we'll put half the pickles away with the rest of this oh and i'm gonna grab that i'm gonna grab that mango juice to eat on our upcoming journeys because i've been forgetting to bring food lately all right and there we go vanilla beans so we have now made pickles that is on our our list it wasn't on the list but we can check it off we can write it down and check it off and let's check on the berry bushes doing good I think we might really work on the ore berries, uh, the ore berry chamber next. That really might be our next task, is digging a hole into that side of that tree and digging like an entire big cave where we are going to grow our ore berries at max efficiency, whatever that means. So I think ore berry, ore berry cave is going to be up next because I want to work on that. All right, and let's check down here just to see what our analyzers have done. Ooh, Pleasaur! I wonder if we have that one. 
And then we've got Stegosaurus, Ankylosaurus, and lots of new plant fossils that we can add. Oh, that's exciting. We'll be able to add all these, these uh, wonderful plant fossils once we get them all tidied up. In fact, I can work on those. Because why not? All right, we'll just put like one in there. I'm going to need the milk. Professor Cowplant! <laughs> I mentioned a minute ago I might need some milk. <laughs> May I please? Thank you. You were even facing the right way. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and then we will go ahead and get these little plants started so we can add them to the fern grotto. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, put that there. All right. Ooh, Mesosaur. Mesosaurus. I'm going to say the names wrong. I'm sorry. I will learn. I will learn. All right. So we've got a Pleosaur, which is new. Ooh, I'm tempted. Is that a nice a nice marine reptile that we could put into our, our prehistoric parkway cove? Because I would be happy to do that. And then we've got our Ankylosaur, Stegosaurus, and the Mosasaurus. Good. So we've got quite the little prehistoric family growing in here. I like it. And let me go ahead and toss, chuck this stuff into the sand sifters. Do, 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 do. Ooh, we've got an extra biofossil. Go ahead and chuck that in here. How's everybody doing? I'm going to take your biofossils and put them in here. So this goes a little faster. Ooh, another Mosiosaurus. Nice. Oh, Gallimimus. I think that's the first for us. Let me check. Nope, that's the second one we've got. Good. Man, we are just adding to the piles. In fact, I better move these bone meals upstairs. That'll probably help keep things all properly sorted. Mm-hmm. Plant fossil. Mm-hmm. See how are those doing? Doing just fine. We can get more milk to get those culture vats moving and grooving from Professor Cowplant. Very helpful. Very helpful for our experiments, Professor Cowplant. And I have learned to always approach you with two milk buckets, or else you will spill it everywhere. All right, get that one going. We can go ahead and just put that one in. And, ooh, another Ankylosaurus DNA. Some sand, how exciting. All right. We're just keeping everything moving. Got a good little system here. I'm pretty sure that someone will trade these Srirachas. I'm pretty sure either George or... Um, Oh, drat. Tim, is it? I, oh, dang it, I feel so guilty that the name escapes me, but I'm pretty sure that our archaeologist over at the, the dig site will actually trade us for these srirachas, so we'll have to go speak with them later. Let's see. Especially if we can get more... Ooh, what's this? Ooh, more Triadosaurus DNA. Nice! This is turning into a very productive day, my friends. I mean, I guess when you have two and a half successful stacks of biofossils, that will happen. Culture vats are going slowly but surely, getting us those little plant fossils. Ooh, another Pleosaurus DNA. Nice. Nice. I'm excited. We might, we might try turning that into some embryos pretty soon. No success rate, like no guarantee on the embryos. I think meat, like this meat, um, someone told me meat makes it have a higher success rate than milk. But milk is just the cheaper thing to use. But we can get our hands on some meat and then put meat in there instead without having to kill the animals. We can get some gourmet dog food from the, the, bark, uh, the bark Bakery, Two Paws Bakery in town. And we can, we can bring the gourmet dog food in and try to grow our dinosaurs with that. That would be amazing. All right. I don't think... Oh, Trinosaurus DNA. Oh, Bronchiosaurus. Do we have that guy? Yeah, that's the second one of that one. Nice. Okay. More sand. That's fine. I can I can cope with sand. See, I've got a little sand sifter. That's sifting sand. <laughs> like sifting out sand. Oh dear. Poor thing. All right. Let's see. We are getting so much bone meal. This is actually a great way, ironically, to get lots and lots of bone meal. What do you think? What do you think, Experiment 626? All right, so let's put these archaeological plant specimens away. Might as well put these guys away just for a little bit. You guys done yet? Nah. All right, got sand. Empty. Has sand. Bone meal. Almost done here. We'll put you in here. Getting more analyzers was a good idea. Because we really do go through these guys really fast. Sand. That's right, you help out Experiment 626. 
plug these guys in here. Ooh, biofossil, sweet. That's like two biofossils out of how many stacks of sand now? All right, sand and bone meal. I think that might be it for the exciting part, my friends, where we actually get new DNA that we can process and take and do things with. Might have to set up one of those sand sifting systems. We'll think about that. All right. Uh, no, nobody in here. Nobody in here. I think this might be it. We're just getting straight up sand. More sand. I mean, I know what to do with sand, but really now. Shove it in here. All right. Last one on this analyzer. Do, 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 do. Ooh, Spinosaurus DNA. So that last one was a little bonus. So we've got a lot of Spinosaurus now. Those guys are huge. All right, and we are done. We're done, Professor Cowplant. High five or headbutt. However, your cow, your your cow culture dictates we celebrate. The celebratory work is finished for the day. Headbutt. <laughs> headbutt indeed. <laughs> but there we go, you guys. So we have ended up with a lot more DNA, and I really am feeling the dinosaurs lately. So no ammonites. I feel so bad for our ammonites. I can't believe we lost them. That's just so weird. It was so odd how they died like that since they weren't supposed to need a feeder. So hmm. Hmm, indeed. And we still do have Lainey's child, Lainey's chick to name. We've got more plant fossils that we can definitely turn into those amazing palm trees over in the fern grotto. And we have a fish. Did you see that fish swimming? The fish is swimming through the floor. Do you see that? Okay, now it stopped, but that was pretty funny. <laughs> and we made pickles. So that's a successful day if you ask me. And next time we will work on our Orberry Cave, I think. And we might explore more of the cave that's hiding under our house. So last time we did that, we found some cool spider spawners. So we'll have to see what happens next time. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.